Hi there, I have here already a cube flying around and I'd like to show you on this cube two different ways how we can measure uh, an angle of some object. For example, at first step I'd like to show you how we can measure the angle using this standard tool and in the second step I will show you how we can use add-on cat transform for measurement of an angle. I will select this uh, cube and then I go by pressing tap in the edit mode. So I have here already a vertex and I will measure the angle between these three vertex and at first I will use this measure tool. So I will hit left mouse button and drag to another vertex and now I will hit the left mouse button one more time and drag to this vertex. We have here 14 degrees. It is rather unprecise. I will delete this construction by holding my mouse over one of these white lines and pressing X. One more time I hold my mouse over this white line and press X. Now I will select the add-on cut transform. You can select it by pressing the left mouse button or you can uh, press shift and then you press space you have a menu and now you press 5. This is like the selection by using short keys. We have now uh, add-on cut transform activated and here we have snapping points. They are all okay as they are selected. So I will show you at first how I will do it, how fast you can measure without explanation and then we will make the measurement together. So, and we are by 14.46 degree. It was the simple measurement without custom of our gizmo. So let's make it together, this type of measurement. At first we need to hit the R button to conform our rotation operation, because the rotation operation can also be used for measurement. So we just hit R button, then we go to this vertex and then we hold down shift and hit the left mouse button. Now we have to pick the start point of our rotation. It will be this vertex and I select Instead of Z axis, in the default axis, I will select the Y axis, this green one. I press Y on the keyboard and now I can go down to this vertex and I have here 14.46 degree. And now I can uh, quit this operation by pressing right mouse button. And now we can make measurement by uh, setting up the custom gizmo. Let's try and do it together. I press R on the keyboard one more time. And then I press Alt and C to set up my new gizmo. And now I'd like to make my origin point of my new gizmo. It will be this vertex. I press just only the left mouse button. And then I will hit the second point of the X axis. Only with the left mouse button I hit it just right here. And then I need to fix also my Y axis because we have the origin just right here and Y axis is flying around, but now we hit this vertex and Y axis is now solid, cannot be moved. So we have our gizmo in this point just set and don't be distracted by this gizmo which is adapted to my uh, mouse. We can uh, move further and now come the next step. Now we just need to uh, set our anchor point for our rotation. Now we go and select this point I hold down shift and I click left mouse button. So we have our anchor point just set and now we have to set our start point of our rotation. It will be this vertex. I hit the left mouse button and now I am on the Z axis but I'd like to select the X axis, this one. I press X and I go down till I hit this vertex. We have 14.46 degree. I will also stop my operation by hitting the right mouse button. And now I'd like to show you how you can rotate this uh, object. I will uh, select everything by hitting A and now I will press R to start my rotation operation and I'd like to custom my new gizmo system. One more time I press Alt C and I select my origin point of my custom gizmo. It will be this one, I press left mouse button, then I need to select my x-axis, the direction of it, and the middle of this space will be the second point of my x-axis. 
I confirm it by pressing left mouse button and now our Y axis is flying around is not set but we have to set it we have here our origin and the second point of our Y axis has to be set I will pick uh, this vertex so our gizmo is now set and if I drag my mouse the gizmo fly flies around with my mouse it's not a problem and now I just need to select my anchor point of my rotation it will be one more time the middle of this uh, face I hold down shift and now I have to select the start point of my rotation I will select this vertex and now I can rotate it. First it rotates around the z-axis per default but I'd like to select the x-axis and now I can rotate my object around the x-axis for example till I hit this point. And now let me show you the operation of rotation if we would use default tools within Blender 4.0 how it would work. At first we have our object selected and we need to define the rotation point. Therefore I go to the edit mode and then I press 1 to be able to select vertex and I press this vertex and then I press shift S and 2. So I have here my cursor just over this vertex and now I can select here that my rotation point can be the 3D cursor. That's cool. In the next step I'd like to set my rotation axis. I press 2 on the keyboard and I select uh, this edge and now I go here to this uh, global and press this button and now I can set up new coordinate system, new gizmo by pressing this plus and this edge will be a part of my new coordinate system. It's okay. Now I can quit my uh, edit mode by pressing tab. Then I press R button so now I can rotate my object around uh, this anchor point but I'd like to rotate my object in a custom mode so I press B button on my keyboard and then I will grab the vertex of this object and now I can rotate my object but still I have to select my axis so I press Y button because this edge what we selected uh, it considers the Y uh, axis of the new coordinate system. So now if you don't see any other objects you can switch your view by pressing the Alt button and so you can see now other objects. You can zoom by pressing Alt and Command button and you can also pan by pressing Shift and Alt button and zoom by alt and command and pen shift and alt and now you can rotate and grab for example the vertex for example then i just press the left mouse button so i have this object rotated but what you cannot do you cannot grab to the origin of other objects or to origin of its own object and so I suggest you learn not only CAD Transform for handling objects, but also default tools of Blender 4.0. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.